<clears throat> on the remote collar. We were just doing all the long line work. So I have a little uh, sound box. Um, you're going to hear some clicks. Um, those little clicks, and that means that the collar, that's when I'm actually applying the stem. Um, so there's a couple things that I do when I'm looking for levels. I tend to use a lot of cadence, and I tend to stay on a level for you know, 10, 15 seconds. So you'll hear me tapping frequently, but I'm not going up on levels. So it's just my, my feeling that if I create a rhythm sometimes and the dog starts to pick up on that rhythm, I just don't go, you know, level three, tap, 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 don't see anything, four, tap, tap, five. Sometimes you can just surprise the dog. So I'm more about taking my time. So I'll do cadence and I'll hold continuous. You'll hear me go, you know, tap, 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 and then I'll hold. And then, um, so I just mix it up until I see that she's recognizing it. And from there, I'm not going to say anything more. Uh, same thing I, I do with the long line when I start the e-collar. It's just very quiet, so um, we're going to go out and see what we can find.
Here. It's hot. We're going in. 